assembly. You find these either along its central axis or on the inside of its wheels or legs. The central portion, the one that gets hit most, is merely a decoy, which is something that our Western friends have now learned all too well. You see, it contains almost no vital parts, and what few parts it has are rather small and protected by several layers of armor. There are no human That's really funny, actually. Makes complete sense. Toss flim flammers out on their ear. Hmm. Alright, so we're we're looking for a way to shut down this boiler. Cool everything out. Oh, thank god. Uh, I, I had to uh, run th through some parts before we were able to f get here. But at least we found a, uh, a place to save the game. Maybe that, that indicator on the, the door is what so that means we can, uh... Wait. I think this is still something I can't go in. Alright. So this was a pointless waste of time to come up here. But we shall continue. Alright, so we're back here. Clear out some of these fuckers. Okay, I found the opening. Okay, cool. So maybe it glitched or something. Well, well. We're gonna find one of those uh, opposite candles. Yeah, maybe in here. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. Okay. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure like in high temperature now. furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? It's not much of a uh, a puzzle if I'm doing this correctly. Oh, crap! It got stuck. Can I put another one in? Oh, maybe that's what I already had done. Okay. <laughs> They're eventually going to hop out at me. Um, right. So that's what was something I was struggling with understanding before, is how do I continue from there? I keep falling off that, so it can't be that. Maybe there is... Something that I've overlooked in here. Can't break that. Can I get in... Can't manipulate any of this. And obviously I can't uh, just cool it off like that, unfortunately. Wait. Oh, okay. I can force move these through the pipes. Alright, so this will go... This has to go up and through. Okay, easy enough. <laughs> I really wish I didn't struggle so much with that yesterday. <laughs> well... It worked! Two more left! Gee, are you sure? Oh wow. <laughs> cool. Alright. I 
so I gotta put this in there. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch. <laughs> Alright, where to get stuck? Anyone else coming for me? No? Okay, cool. Alright, got stuck here. I, I don't know how I missed it before. I feel ridiculous. Okay, that one is gonna go to the right through there. Okay. Love that my skills even give me like superpowers like this. It's pretty cool. Okay. It's basically a, a simple maze. Alright, so we gotta backtrace this. Oh, we got more enemies coming. Alright. One. A little bit harder. Maybe it'll give me better loot. Uh, looks pretty clear now. Let's see. Yeah, so we got a backtrace. Well, let's get the ball in there f in the air first. So we're here. Put this in the tube. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Am I reading that right? This goes around, curves back around. Ah. Okay, so we're taking this left turn here. I can always recheck if I forget, anyways. So, I'm gonna keep going. I think we we take the bottom route. Okay, so we we just don't have to. Yeah, we do want to take the bottom route. The, the other route goes to that other boiler. Okay. I thought I had the, the wrong way for a second, but nope, we're all good. Well, the temperature in the hot workshop has been stabilized. Employees yeah, yeah, yeah. return to their workstations. What a relief. Oh. I guess these are the employees, yep. <laughs> Pretty easy to take care of with an axe. Nice. Oh, it's alive now. Is it? Which one is alive? Oh, it's. Oh, <laughs> wait. It might have been the ball I was hitting. That's funny, though. Or maybe it's this thing. Yeah, probably that. Alright, so that means we can return. Where do we return? No. Ah, stairs. Comrade there we go. Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the Aww. bitch whose fault it is I'm waiting knee deep in gore? <laughs> what the fuck? Traitor Petrov, use Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. 
She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers Perch. here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Yeah. That's one of those dead things. Huh. Um, so. <coughs> Got some apples over here. Oh wait, we need to fi figure out the way to get up there. So it looks like some kind of platforming pro challenge, right? Oh, that's where I entered in. Okay. Okay. So. That thing's just still drifting around. Okay. What about this thing? It looks like it lifts me up high enough. Oops. To run and jump. Yeah, there we go. Grabbed it. Okay. Cool. Next step appears to be. Oh, that's a bit simpler than I thought it would be. Up we go. Cross. The canisters Cross. fill automatically once the temperature nice. is normalized. That's the canister. All right, so here seems pretty cut and dry. Got the game saved. We should head back before something fucked up happens. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> what do we know about Petra's girlfriend, <laughs> Charles? Are you referring to Doctor <laughs> Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Doctor Larissa Filatova, M.D., has worked with Doctor Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Alright, so you guys kind of see what I'm saying about the, the dialogue overlapping over each other? Gets a little annoying, but thankfully we do have the subtitles. It's the eucalyptus, which lives in Australia. Now can vapor quickly vaporize excess water from its buds. It's called a living pump. Oh, they're used to dry up swamps. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was even possible. Okay, so I think we're uh, we're going this way. I hear rats and shit everywhere. Oh, save game. Yes. Saving data. Yes. Please oh. select the desired procedure. Let's see what kind of updates we have available. Um, my, for my character. Ah, wait. Max health. Laser resistance, additional dodge charge. Ooh, a dodge charge could get us out of a lot of trouble. Intriguing. So then this gives us as a final option 
Using medical supplies allows you to fully regenerate health. Oh, I kind of want that, but I should at least look at my other options, right? Additional dodge charge. I only have 96 polymers right now. So if I follow that path, I get two maximum health upgrades. Increases my running speed, which costs 80 polymers. How often am I going to get hit by lasers and elemental damage? I, I know I want the physical damage, but it is, I don't know if it's worth to go buy all these upgrades immediately. Hmm. Oh, marksman. That would be fun. Let's go into this, this side of the tree. Huh? Okay, well, I d and maybe I didn't uh, unlock those yet. Oh, I see. I have this inner three and this now. Okay. Increases backpack capacity through compression rate upgrades. I'm not sure what that means. Train to duck and roll when falling. Yeah, let's let's do it a, a second. Oh right, I have to unlock that first, and then when I get more polymer, sweet. That's pretty good. Oh, that's fast regen as well. It's like twice as fast now. Sweet. Oh, okay. I thought I was opening the, the things. You. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts oh. were designed as highly efficient oh, feed for large them. livestock. Wait. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Oh yeah, no shit. It's spawning these freaking flying things. <laughs> Oh, chicken. chicken. Oh, that's eating him. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> Am I gonna fight giant evil chickens? That's funny. <laughs> what Attracting the fuck? their attention is not advised. Too late. Oh. Ew. This glass is so clear. <laughs> Alright, I got some uh, some stuff to look at. Congratulations. Oh, audio file. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. Cool. Send Neolova to the hospital. All right. 
Absolute token from section off. Hello, I don't have time to type. Okay. Another attached file. Oh, scroll down. Yep. Oh, that's the UI element on the left. Okay. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer soup. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. All right, uh, let's see. Oops, didn't press play. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get a brown nose and voice yet, enough. But I assure you, <laughs> if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stefan Lastoshkin. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah, because I can't get through there. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice guy. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time. I've been busy, Pan. No, Come on. <laughs> I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. <laughs> Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. All right, let's see. Let's just start. Did with you the see first how one. all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to. But I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. That's actually smart. something was off the yeah. moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. <laughs> most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared Shit, me most damn. wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class. They tell you to split up into pairs. Oh, that's weird. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no uh, way. Out. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Yeah, most the died in the, first couple the vines of were very quickly. The robots tentacles. either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. <laughs> we took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd That's take fair. Months to plan something like this. It really would, yeah. If not yours. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread. I'm pretty sure it already has. <laughs> I'm almost certain that it's in the other complexes. There's just no way. Alright, time to go. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other cold, things, yeah. yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single cell plant life to what? livestock and other animals. Is that a robot or a person? It looks very much like a person. All right. 
Looks like we're through and in. So the canisters over there, I think I triggered them. Yep, music and everything. Alright, I think I killed it. Oh, the thing's attacking me though. Alright. Oh man. I wish I could help you. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Oh, that's one way to do it. Um, I think we gotta go through here rather quickly. Is it dead? I think it is. But unfortunately, this is there. Oh, very easy to kill. Nice. Looks like I got two of them with uh, one hit. Alright. Man, I wish I could, uh... Oh, yeah, he's not interactable. Since the chicken was on him. That's just the game design. Methodology. Okay, we're uh, exiting. What a goddamn through another fuck. hole in the wall. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, I don't think that's me. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. My hair looks the same as his, probably. <laughs> him dying, I'm assuming. supposed to be doing here? Did that do anything? Alright, so let's see if I remember this. I think that's an extra green. Let's try... So the chickens look okay. Let's see... Cow might need... Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. Is it draining or something? Oh, that's an extra one. Let's try this one. Okay. 
I wish these like corresponded better. They're kind of hard to read. Hey, buddy. I wish I could help you. Okay. We have a pig and two cows left. this pig. I don't know what this even does, but it's, um, where was it? Two cows left. Okay, um, Last cow. Nope, that undid it. I wish there was a better correspondence here. Um, cows, cows, cows. So, okay, that one over there is not the one. Need to do. I'm gonna reach this one. What's that noise? Did I just kill all of them? Oh. It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's what where the, the power of organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. Oh, Jesus. This process is fucking evil, man. At least I hope it was quick, Jesus. It seemed kinda quick, but still, goddamn. Oh wow, that's crazy. It's basically a small place to sit on. I wonder if that's real. <laughs> I think those are actually real. Daughter bulbs or offspring can appear on the mother bulbs of many bulbous plants. They also separate themselves from the mother bulb quite quick, quite easily, and form new plants. Interesting. Wait a minute. I think I'm going the wrong way. He's got moves. He's got moves. Unfortunately, so do I. Ow. Turn off, turn off. Why did I interact with that? I guess I get raw materials. It's kind of nice, right? you where am I supposed to go oh crap did I set my alarm level up through there. Where am I meant to 
go. Oh, I'm past you. No, nothing. Cartoons. Rest my myself a little bit. Oh, a scythe broke. How the heck did it get screwed in like that? Oh, that guy's got a nice machine to do that. Oh, are you stealing it? Oh man. I don't think he knows how to use it, does he? <laughs> Looks like it does. Oh no. Bunny. Oh God. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Okay. Sure. All right. I mean, I've come through here already. Oh, there was probably a puzzle there. Okay. So I've come through here. Went through this hole. From the pesticide workshop. Did I miss the, uh, the canister? Or something? Definitely missed something. Nope, nothing to interact with. Okay. Oh, that's dark annoying now that that's knowing now what's gonna happen to them. So, oh yeah, I go through here, I went in here. Figured everything out. Oh, in through here? It's huge. Okay, wow. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the Jeez. plants that will be used to terraform the It's like a whole cafeteria. Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. We got robots over there, the control panels over there. Alright, well, we can kill a, a simple robot, right? Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay. Yeah, on the I'm wall. not surprised. Okay, though. I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Something on the wall, he said. Oh, okay, the puzzle. Cool. Okay. So what we need is a splitter for the blue beams. Down here. Oh, okay. Easy enough. There we go. <laughs> so how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Yeah, oh, let's see. What's the catch, man? Looks like we've got company. I knew that was the catch. Patiently for this yeah. thing. supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Shock? Where? I seem I have to. All right, so I'll be kiting these things around. 
Oh, okay. I was wondering what was happening to the body. Alright, that's two. Gotta reset this last one. I think then we're good. Oh, you know what to say. Alright. Oh, I have to run back here now? Okay. Alright. Let's try it again. I love this music. Got it. <laughs> grab it, grab it, grab it. Alright, alright. Mine. All mine. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, exit. Oh wait. They made an easier exit for us. I sure love these goddamn Sweet. canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, <sighs> it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. <laughs> if I see one more canister. Yeah, really. I nearly gave up. I was among the first to receive those photographs. Bombs. Remember? America, Japan. I remember my thoughts. Iranian fission reaction is accompanied by gamma radiation that attacks living cells. I thought about how many of those who didn't die instantly would die of radiation poisoning. I thought about ground zero. It would remain rife with death and disease. Then I suddenly imagined I was the man who created that weapon. Not Oppenheimer, but me, Dmitry Sashinov. It was only through sheer force of will that I brought myself to remain faithful to my calling. At some point I was so racked by doubt about the usefulness of science, I nearly gave up. I was among the first to receive those photographs. That's a hard pill to swallow. I don't know what this thing's doing. Better not uh, interact with it. Alright, where is my elevator, and where is it going to fall? Uh, no, no, not falling on me. Oh, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Yeah, these are the weak ones, because they're basically half broken already. You can tell by how they walk. Motherland does not forget its heroes. Watch your step, don't don't trip on bricks. <laughs> yeah, it would have been useful before I <laughs> Oh. There's no way they won't let me in through here. back for that place. I don't know if I need that yet. Heal up. 
we go. I'll check the side room just before we go in. This whole facility is just massive. Anything to a polymer substance capable of transmitting waves over a specific distance. I can do everything. <laughs> I remember the thrill of our first experiment. I sent a signal from the comfort of my desk in this room to a hawk hovering fifty kilometers away. The rest of the fifty kilometers wow. switched off. Then I instructed the hawk to commence weeding an experimental plot of land. Nice. The standard procedure requires the hawk to start coordinating the robot's actions via radio waves, but on that day, the radios had been switched off and power base modules had been activated instead. I was ecstatic. Not only did the robots receive the command, they also coordinated their actions with each other. If I had children of my own, I doubt I'd have been as happy to see them take their first steps. It was a great moment. I realized then that nothing was stopping us from combining robots into collectives. Type over there. <laughs> I announced the first cybernetic collective research and development program. And picking the name was ever so easy. I'd already thought of Collective One the night before. We created a polymer substance capable of transmitting waves over a specific distance. I remember the thrill of our first experiment. I sent a signal from the comfort of my desk in this room to a hawk hovering 50 kilometers away. Nice. The rest of the robots had their radio receivers switched. Oh wait, that, that's looping. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna fight one of these things eventually, aren't we? Looks very well armored. Oh, this is a different color. Maybe that's stronger. Jeez, yeah. This is like the level 2 version of those guys. A lot more difficult to fight. Death to Imperialism. Hmm. Well, what about Nationalism? Oh, I think I've been through there. Okay, let's just go to the place where we need to go. A little puzzle. Alright. So let's be doing something for this. Oh, that was a good timing. <laughs> really lucky timing. <laughs> Puzzles are getting a little more difficult now. What's that? Did you hear that? I hear everything Maybe you it's hear, the Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something <laughs> dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. I don't see it. But we press on. <laughs> Canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Okay, cool. We got a, a teammate to help Fine, us. Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. Oh, he'll man We're the pump then. You need to find that polymer container right now. Yeah, right. A container. Uh, could you okay. tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of uh, kind of cylinder. A yellow cylinder. Find that yellow cylinder or All right. Shit, that thing is so I'm gonna pause the recording just for Why now. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected we'll result of a bold scientific experiment. You egg heads. Come on. 